Hello there, I'm Donnie Stone, Sales Support and Training Manager here at Van Air Manufacturing. In today's climates, in construction and fleet operators, you may find yourself in different welding applications or in hard to reach or access areas. Today we're going to be discussing the Epic Welder 140 by, you guessed it, Van Air Manufacturing. All right, so let's paint a picture here. We're out in a fleet yard right now, got a number of chassis in our way. Maybe your cables don't quite access the area that you're needing to make a repair at. Maybe you're fixing a mud flap bracket. Uh, instead of trying to spend an hour moving chassis around, as well as trying to figure out where you're gonna put them, let's grab a piece of equipment and get right to work right at the point of use. The Epic Welder 140 is a 140 amp CC stick welder, which combines the flexibility of a lithium powered welder with an extremely light and portable package. Welding is simple and friendly for those light and fast repair jobs in the field. So let us take a quick look at the basic controls of the welder. The front panel has a simple and easy to read display and is protected by this plastic cover. The unit has an air outlet looking fins that keep the unit cool when in use as well as the positive and negative welding output leads. The back panel is equipped with the charging interface to charge the unit as well as the circuit breaker or welding output's main on and off switch. It also houses the air inlet fins, again, keeping this unit cool when in operation. On the control panel display itself, the unit has several indicators, including the note window indicates items located in the manual, the digital display shows the existing welding current, the power indicator window, power switch, current adjusting knob, charging indicator, high temperature indicator and low temperature indicator, the warning indicator, battery button, and even the reset button. So now that we've covered the display here, let's take a look at some of the technical details. The Epic Welder 140 comes with an internal lithium ion battery type. It has 140 amps and its input voltage range is from 100 to 240 volts AC. As previously stated, the charging or welding capabilities are CC with an input voltage frequency of 50 or 60 Hertz. It takes roughly three hours when the battery is nearly completed to recharge to 100%. What's the duty cycle? You're looking at 20% duty at 140 amps, 50% duty at 110 amps, and 100% duty cycle at 80 amps output. The unit has a built-in hot start feature, which allows the operator to automatically increase the output amperage at the start of a stick weld, should the start require it. This helps eliminate sticking of the electrode at the arc start. It also has an auto arc force, which allows for a temporary increase of the output current during welding once the arc turns too short. This prevents against short circuits. In addition, the Epic Welder 140 has a smart double air cooling system, allowing the unit to self-cool itself during operation. Now there are a number of operational steps for this machine, but we'll cover those in a separate video. But honestly, this is very simple to operate. Make sure the welder is in the off position before working. With the power off, ensure the electrode is secured in the stinger and the ground clamp is secured to the workpiece. Flip the circuit breaker on the rear cover to the on position, press the power button on the front panel and a green light will illuminate. Wait for the digital display to display the current correctly and then turn the current adjusting knob to select the desired welding current parameter. When someone asks, what thickness of metal can that unit weld, they're typically referring to the metal thickness that can be welded in a single pass. So with a 140 amp unit, you're typically looking at welding up to a quarter inch thickness of steel. The welder will automatically shut down if no welding operation is performed within two minutes. When you're done welding, turn off the welder by pressing the power button, the green light will turn off. Flip the circuit breaker on the rear cover to the off position and remove the positive and negative welding cables. Now that we're finished, here's a few other things to consider the next time you go to use your Epic Welder 140. 
Make sure the welder is charged to 100% each time you begin using the welder. This helps in getting your job done with plenty of power as well as securing that it's charged for the next job. The Epic Welder 140 has been equipped with a built-in charger, so the user only needs to connect the welder to AC power with rated input voltage through the charging cable when the power level is low. At this time, the digital display shows an SC for standard charging, and the battery indicator shows that it is charging. Maintenance is simple. Using a dry cloth to remove the dust and oil stains on the clamps, wires, and casing. Keep the air inlet and air outlet fins clear of any debris that may have gotten in there. Now, I hope this video has been a helpful introduction to the Epic Welder 140. Please refer to the manual for further instructions. For more information on Van Air Goodall products, don't hesitate to call 1 800 526 8817 or visit our website vanair.com.